Hey everyone, Joe here. This is another part of a longer discussion with Johannes from Aligned Games. Here we talk all about InfiniWar's new Steam page, what I'm doing right, what could still be improved, and what makes a good Steam page in general. Johannes is a veteran game developer who's released multiple Steam games, so his feedback here is especially valuable. Part 1 is linked on the screen and in the description if you want to start from the beginning. But pivoting from that, you mentioned how many wishlists you would need uh, from from Steam. And I do want to talk a little bit about Steam as well. Um, so, you know, to get back onto your game then, um, have you seen an uptick in wishlists or, uh, well, actually, um, I think you, you mentioned your, your, your Steam page might be going live now, right? Oh, it is live now. Um, so yeah, thanks. Thanks for, uh, bringing us to here. So I did put the Steam page up. Okay. Um, Part of the reason was I got so many people on Devlog Five in in the comments asking, "Where's the Steam page? Where's the Steam page? I want I, you know I went to search for it and I didn't find it. Where is it?" Mm -hmm. um, so because I, I didn't have one yet, and I do wish that I had gotten the Steam page up sooner because then you know I have this this big Devlog that does well. Um, I could have you know sent all the, all these people to get to you know. Yeah, um, definitely. To wishlist the game, but it wasn't it wasn't ready at the time. It's a it's um, a but, it's a catch me to a little bit because you know it's not like you could have known that this devlog was going to yeah. be the one that does this. But uh, you know, to developers listening, it is a lesson in being ready because I, I heard this thing. I don't know exactly how it goes, but eighty percent of luck is just being ready when when you do get lucky. So. You know, it's important yeah. to get a Steam page up, um, even if you don't have much to show yet. And, you know, some of the big guys like Thomas Brush will tell you that. But um, in this case, I'm sure you were able to still get a lot of those guys to then go retroactively and go and wishlist. Yeah, yeah. I did do a follow-up video, like kind of a quick follow-up video on, on Devlog 5 of like answering the top questions of, and one of the main ones was like, where's the Steam page? And like, where's the Discord? And, mm -hmm. you know, all, all these kinds of things. Um, still no Discord. Uh, that'll that'll be a future thing. But uh, I knew I had to get Steam up up and running uh, as quick as I could. Um, so I did put together a Steam page, and that was kind of an interesting experience um, in itself. Because uh, yeah, I I definitely I didn't know in advance which whether any video would pop off like it did, and it definitely didn't know that it would be the very next one. Um, so it would have been nice to have it up sooner. Uh, it is tough because you do got to fork over a hundred bucks. Yeah, true. Um, and it's it's a process. To, uh, you you know you've made a ton of Steam pages, mm -hmm. um, especially for your first one where you don't know how to do it or you don't know what's needed, and then suddenly Steam is asking you for like thirty different art assets of you know different configurations of backgrounds and logos and all this stuff that like maybe you don't have a logo yet. And fortunately, I have a kind of temporary logo that does the job but you know you yeah. start up a steam page but then you suddenly realize like oh i need background art i need uh i need a logo i need all this yeah, marketing definitely. copy i need and then you know all the best practices for making steam pages like oh i need to record all these gifs mm -hmm. gifs gifs whatever i call it i call them gifs i'm team gif um i think they are called <laughs> gifs but gif is fun to say it yeah i don't really care so much I, um, it's, I, I think the original creator calls it GIF, but he has since admitted defeat and says, fine, it's, it's GIF. Cause that's what everybody says. It's one of those um, internet things that it's really just like, who cares at the end of the day? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, um, so, you know, if you don't mind, um, I'd like to take a moment to speak about steam pages. Um, cause I, I've yeah. pulled up yours now. Um, oh, okay. And I guess I should do that just to take a look. So this isn't going to be a critique. It's just going to be sort of like a first, because I, I didn't I haven't seen it yet um, intentionally. I wanted to wait until we had the chat uh, to actually see what you did do. And right off the bat, I have to say I'm, I'm quite impressed. Um, and to other developers watching this, um, I will be putting this on. Uh, I'll, I'll send a link uh, on the on the screen and in the description so that you guys can can visit and see what he did but you know this is a good steam page right off the bat and i've had um a lot of conversations with uh other developers that haven't made steam pages yet but that have wanted to uh about what to do and um right off the bat you did a lot of the good stuff already so um i don't know what your 
what you, know, you don't have to tell us, but I'm pretty sure you are getting a, a, a fair trickle of wish lists uh, coming in every day and week. Yeah, uh, so far the the response for wish lists has been great. Uh, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, day one, I was like, "Am I going to get ten? Am I going to get a hundred? Am I going to get a thousand? Um, I didn't get a thousand on the first day, um, but I did get over a thousand. I, I think there's some NDA stuff, so we can't be. I have to be a little coy about the numbers, or not NDA, but like Steam terms of service stuff, where you can't talk about exact specific numbers and stuff like that. But eh, um, I, I did. Kinda, I did. But it's sort of like a gray area. They don't really care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, but but, you but don't, I did you get have o- to. over a thousand in about the first week, which was which was good. That's pretty good. Um, and it's it's still going. So I've got I think I'm over fifteen hundred now, that's, that's which is you know for the first you know it's not even the first month yet. So I'm pretty happy with that, and it seems to still be going. Um, and the thing that I was a little bit surprised about is I seem to be getting some regular Steam traffic, like just from Steam recommendations. I had mm-hmm. I had thought that I was going to get no push at all from Steam because it's an unreleased game, um, and that it was all just going to be sort of an endpoint for me to send people to, you know, from the videos from Twitter. Um, but I'm actually getting a fair amount of. Not a lot, but a fair amount more than I thought I would be, which was zero. Of yeah. uh, just Steam recommending or people searching for, you know, people looking for like, man, there's not enough real time tactics games out there. What else is what's up and coming? Like, I've actually had people tell me that that's what they did. They searched for, you know, new or unreleased real time tactics games um, to see if there was anything, and they found my game and they are interested. Um, mm. So it is interesting to see that there's sort of you know, multiple algorithms at play now. I've got the YouTube algorithm, you've got the Steam algorithm. They feed each other a little bit um, in different ways. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and, you know, I don't, this is a chat between me and Joe, so I don't want it to be too much of a lesson uh, for other developers. But um, in terms of the Steam page itself, uh, the reason that Joe is getting a little bit of traffic and getting a little bit of wish lists coming in is. Steam pages are visual things. Um, now, Joe doesn't have a trailer yet, so that'll help in the future. But the screenshots are colorful. Um, they show what the game is. Um, the text is not overdone. There's not too much of it. And it, it is pretty specific. And it tells you what the game is and what you can do in the game. And for me, the most important thing is the gifts uh, that Joe has put in. Um, and these are sort of like pre-trailers, uh, I like to call them. And I think these are all really important. And I did notice that you are now starting to get a little bit of community feedback. So Steam has this community hub. Um, and so I just like quickly looked at it. And I see you did post a news segment. So that's pretty important as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so these are all things that, you know, are, are quite good to look at if anyone you know, is interested in, in doing this kind of thing. But to me, the point is, uh, it seems like a healthy Steam page. And uh, I'm, I'm glad that you finally got it up because um, this is sort of just that cementing uh, of the fact that this is now a game and this is something that you are serious about. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you got to put up your hundred bucks and you got to... Um you got to spend the time to put together. It doesn't look like there's that many art assets involved, but like just the logo and background, there's like, there's like, I think 30 or so, or, you know, two dozen yeah, at least. It's hard work. Different, I mean, different I've, formats. I've made about six or seven Steam pages at this point, and it takes a lot of time. And the thing is, you also, you can't skim over it because it's very important to do right. Um, and, uh, you know, the ratio of uh, wishes that you are getting, you know, non-specifically uh, around 1500, I think it's quite good um, because my game Operator 8 has been in development for f- three years now or something like that. And um, I'm going to be launching um, at the end of the year at some point. I still have to release the the uh, an- the announcement for the for the release date uh, is what I meant to say. Um, but for that game, uh, after three years, I'm sitting at about 14,000 wish lists. Um, okay, which, that's which pretty is, good. Which is quite good. Um, but reason being, and we won't spend too much time on Steam, but reason being as well uh, is the fact that I did do one, I think it was the second 
Steam Next Fest ever. So um, that was when Steam Next Fest just started. And I assume you haven't done a Next Fest yet. No, I think I think it was going on like right as I was launching the Steam page, or maybe just before. Um, and I, yeah, I wasn't wasn't ready for that um, quite okay. yet. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, g- give me a personal call before you do do that, so that I can just uh, give you a few pointers. But you can expect about oh, definitely about two to four thousand wish lists for that. That would be that would be nice. Yeah, that's more or less what I think your your game is going to get on a next fest, especially because of the genre and because of the um, the style and everything. It's it stands out because it's something that uh, there isn't too much of right now, and I think it's a good time for it as well. Um, but yeah, okay. Uh, do you have anything else to say about Steam specifically, or do you want to move on to the next point? Um, just just a few things since you know we are we are talking about the Steam page. Yeah. I'd- I really do want to get a trailer up. A, tra- a, a proper trailer will take some time, but one of the things I need to do in the short term is just get some video clips up that are in that little, the little, I don't know what you call it, the little thumbnail camera roll feed, whatever it is at the top. Um, mm-hmm. You know, just just to get some some motion in there. And from what I've heard from you know the the Steam marketing experts, um, when people are browsing Steam pages, they actually don't watch the trailer for the most part. Um, they'll they'll click through the thumbnails to try to get a sense of like how does the game play, what is the game like, um, because trailers can often have a bunch of a bunch of stuff that isn't gameplay or you know logos or you know whatever. Um, yeah. So definitely something I need to do uh, is just you know throw up some some gameplay footage. I think would be just fine there and something that would be quick to do. I just haven't done it yet. Um, I should get on that. Um, yeah. And then the other thing, the other the other sort of tip that I had heard and something I tried to follow with like the screenshots that are shown here is um, if your game has different environments, especially that have vastly different color palettes, uh, try to include one of each of those. Like if you've mm-hmm. got like, you know, sort of the typical like fire world, ice world, plant world, you know, green, red, blue, you know, that type of thing. Uh, do that. Yeah. Try not to have um, uh, screenshots that are all the same environment. Um, yeah. or, you know, all the same color palette because you just sort of glance through it and it's like, oh, this game looks like the same in every screenshot. And that is an instant turn off for people. Yeah, it's, um, so, you know, it's really just marketing psychology if you think about it. Um, but yeah. just, to, just to say something about your point about the trailer. So uh, I do think that you are right. Most people don't click on a trailer. Um, but the way that I see it is that a trailer is for someone that has made it past the screenshots. So someone that is genuinely yeah. interested in buying the game. Um, and yeah. I don't know what your analytics are like for for uh, just for, you know, general uh, consumer analytics. But for me, uh, I think the game has had more than 6 million visits to the page. So if you think about it, 14,000 wish lists is a terrible conversion rate. So that means that my job was not done correctly as, you know, I, oh, I, I, don't, I, I don't like marketing, but um, this is something that I'm trying to get better at. So in some way, 14,000 wish lists should have been more like 100,000 uh, if I did my job better. But, you know, we learn and we and we get better. But um, I'm, I just want to say you kind of do have to look at it that way. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else on the Steam page. I mean, I, we could probably go for an hour on just the Steam page, but I yeah. don't think there's anything anything major left that I wanted to talk about. Yeah. About um, Steam in particular, other than just... Uh, go to the Steam page. You can search Infinowar um, on Steam and uh, wishlist it, or it, it should be in you know links to all the video, all of my videos on you know Twitter and everything else on my YouTube channel. It should be easy to find, mm-hmm. uh, with one exception. Actually, the one uh, there's there's some name collision with Infinowar, which kind of is a little bit worrying. Um, there's like a ten year old game called Infinity Wars. Um, okay. like a Magic the Gathering style card game called Infinity Wars that mm-hmm. was coming up when I was trying to like Google search Infinity Steam. Um, I'm not sure how they haven't been targeted by Disney Marvel yet. Uh, Infinity Wars sounds really close to Infinity War. Um, but you know, maybe if they're safe, I'm safe. Um, yeah, there's also an RTS called Infinity War like just straight up infinity war mm-hmm. um but it's got like one review one negative review so i'm not super worried about that and i think it isn't under active development okay. um, but then there's also like all the other games you know there's call of duty infinite warfare and like so it's a little bit worrying 
But, I, think, um, I think you'll be all right. I think you, you're giving it too much thought. Yeah, I might be. I mean, the, it's really an homage to um, Infiniminer. Uh, Zactronics made this. Do you know, do you know this game? Mm -mm. So no it's actually the inspiration for Minecraft. So um, uh, Notch was playing Infiniminer by Zactronics. Uh, Zach, uh, what's his name? Zach. I can't remember his last name. Um, he makes a bunch of like uh, like automation programmer style games. Okay. Um, Infiniminer. Uh, in, he made Infiniminer. He made Infinifactory, um, and uh, Infiniwar is sort of an homage to uh, to those games, and maybe maybe a little bit of the aspiration of you know I might not be the next Minecraft, but I hope I inspire the next Minecraft. Okay. Um, is uh, is is the the story there? That's interesting. Um, and you know. Coming up with names is hard, so I had a long, <laughs> long think about how to how to name the game, and Infinowar is what I came up with. Yeah, so. it's, it's very important, and I've made some mistakes in that department. I mean, one of my games was called Death Rattle Hell Unleashed. It's like I don't know what I was thinking with that one, but uh, it, it's a it's a cool. I think it's a cool name. I don't know if it ties to the gameplay at all, really, but it's uh Well, um, here's the thing. There better like, be some death rattling in there. <laughs> that's that's the thing. I never knew what death rattling was before I named the game, um, and uh, I didn't okay. even bother to look it up either. I just sort of named it, and then when it was done, I eventually saw what a death rattle was, and it wasn't the prettiest thing to look at. So, um, you know, at least it's it kind of works because uh, I wouldn't get too much into it. But it's this game where you play as uh, sort of like a like a holy warrior that has to vanquish uh, hell after the rupture and things like that. So, but <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, naming is important. Uh, I'll probably make a video on naming at some point, and I do want to make a video about uh, setting up Steam pages correctly um, because I think it it's valuable, and I, and I do think the landscape has changed a lot. Uh, a lot of the videos that are out now on that kind of things, uh, you know, some of the ones that have hundreds of thousands of views um they are very outdated at this point uh i think it's it's quite old information and you know the way that wish lists work have changed as well uh which is something i want to uh, talk about in the future as well but for this video uh i think we should um we should probably stick to our list yeah because we have been going for uh 40 <clears throat> minutes apparently Oh, right. You, and you don't have that much time left. Okay. No, I, I can do like another like 40 minutes or so, but I just think we should, okay. uh, we should, because I, I mean, it's, it's my fault as well. I like to sort of veer off topic quite a lot, uh, but yeah. yeah, so check out Joe's game. Um, it'll be in the description of this video as well. Uh, and I'll put a little thing uh, where you can go and check it out on the, on the video itself as well. But 